On the first day I met you, God told me that you were going to be my wife. And from that day, I have loved you. You have taught me how to love and have shown me a love that I never could have imagined. A love that I never thought I would have and that I never believed I would deserve. Growing up, we were always outside playing with the other kids. Little did we know we were making core memories. My favorite one of them being the times that Sam bit off more than he could chew. I guess he thought it was a good idea to stick a whole Eggo's toaster stick in his mouth. He, he has this thing where he'll just shovel food in his mouth. He's always been like that. But all I can say is how much I treasured the times growing up together and being your younger sister. Every single late night talk, target trip, or overspending together, and calling it self-care. I cherished every minute of it. In high school, Samuel didn't know what he wanted to do, so he opted for the Marine Corps. It made us a little nervous, but after he made the decision, he never wavered. He found a brotherhood and a confidence in himself that wasn't there as a teenager, but I watched him grow into a man. As a dad, this is one of my proudest days, as I watched my oldest son get married Looking at you here today is a testament of the faithfulness of God in my life. Meeting you was not in my plans, but when I did, the Lord was in the middle of it all. Just like he's been in the middle of it all in each season of our lives that we've walked through together. You have taught me to take joy in the small things, to slow down and be in the moment, and to be intentional in making our love and commitment meaningful. There are many things to love about you. You have the sweetest but confident yet gentle demeanor. When you walk into a room, you exude confidence and humbleness in the same moment. Michaela, you are beautiful inside and out. It has been a joy of your mother and I to have you as our daughter. When I first laid my eyes on you and held you in my arms, it was love at first sight. Although we spend little time together, Michaela, as a whole, what I can see is that you make each other happy beyond words can describe. And with kind hearts and pure strength, together there's nothing in this world you two can't accomplish. And though I could talk for hours about how wonderful you are and how great you look, greatly you love me, I would never be able to describe you in all of your beauty and all of your perfection. You're kind and you're selfless. You're a carrier of peace. You're strong. I've always described you as solid, and that's exactly what I prayed for in a husband. I promise to love you with everything I have and to always be faithful to you, to embrace your family as if they were my own. I promise to put your needs before mine and to take your feelings into account when making decisions. Always make time for us and to have our marriage be my top priority. I promise to be a safe place for you to land each day, to cultivate peace in our home and invite the presence of the Lord in. I promise to worship God with you for all of our days on earth and raise our children to be carriers of his spirit. I promise to be slow to speak and work to be a Proverbs 31 woman who stands up for righteousness and laughs at the future. And you may go ahead and kiss your bride. Family, friends, I am honored to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Samuel King. genuine love you always showed me. Thank you for always being my best friend and for letting me gain another. <laughs> I want to see again whew, how happy I am for you too and the blessing this marriage is to this family. Continuing to keep God at the center of your relationship will be your greatest asset. Finally, fate brought Samuel and Michaela together and he was joined to the Cutter family, Jim and Renee, accepted Samuel, and Samuel in turn stole their food and 
and their dog Daisy. Sam, you've been one of my best friends since we've met. This man just knocks on my door, I open it, and he's just there. I got locked out of my room. I go, you want to come in or something? I have some pizza if you want to eat it. Ends up eating half of my pie that I paid for. I was like, all right, yeah, go ahead, help yourself, man. I'm very proud of the both of you. I uh, love you deeply, and we are just declaring God's blessing, His goodness, and His grace over your life to be with you all your days. Um, and again, we love you very much. And Welcome to the family. I'm proud of you, Samuel. It's been an absolute treasure to really witness you two fall in love firsthand. I'm so blessed to have gained such an amazing brother-in-law who shares the same love for Daisy as I do, and of course, Michaela. You two both share a love I'm sure many can say is quite adorable and beautiful. Sam and Michaela, this will forever be your day. Hold the memories close and let your hearts guide you both through life to a perfect couple to a long life together filled with happiness, adventure, and wonderful new memories. Cheers to the newlyweds. I promise to pack the blankets for the beach and remember sunscreen and snacks so we won't end up sitting in the sand, starving and burning. I promise to let you go to sleep at 9 p.m. sometimes. And I promise to only make you watch the Gilmore Girls maybe 10 more times with me. But I promise to never put your dreams in a box and to pursue them with you and pray for you. And I promise to never stop learning about you and loving who you are in every season. I love you. All the stars in the sky, all the lines on the highway. Oh, they keep us coming alive. Grab my hand in the dark, lightning straight to my heart. Oh, you give me every time. I promise to always let you have the coldest pillow, the softest blanket, and save for you the last Diet Coke. <laughs> I promise to let you warm your cold feet on my back, even though it's torture. And I promise to always set aside a portion of the day for us to have snuggle time. Michaela, I love you with all of my heart. I am yours, and you are mine, from this day until the end of my days. I believe that love is a choice, and it truly is easy to choose you daily, but I promise that even in the fire and in the flames, I'll choose you over and over. 